Welcome back to Darkwood. It's the beginning of day 12. I died at the very beginning of night 11 when I got trapped in my own bear trap. Whoops. Anyway, I've processed a bunch of stuff, dropped some meat, and crafted some things, and I uh, processed a bunch of wood that was in here and used up some gas tanks. So doing decent on inventory space in here. I've got, I think, everything that I want on me before I go for a journey. I've got this antidote for poison, just in case, lantern, torch, pills, molotovs, and the crude board with nails, with more nails. Which apparently needs even more nails. Because it doesn't seem to do that much more damage. Anyway, what I want to do today is grab the shovel. Guess where we're going. Now that I've got a shovel, I want to go all the way back to the underground entrance and dig it up. I'm really excited about the idea of what might be in there. I hope it's something worth it. Because it was really expensive to make that shovel. I'm trying to think, is there anywhere else I want to go along the way? I mean, I've visited all these places. There is still the wedding, which I wasn't able to get inside of. I still don't have the password for it, so now I'm thinking. You know, at first I kind of assumed that every locked door that needs a key or a passcode has a key or a passcode that you can find in the world, but now I'm thinking, probably not. It wouldn't surprise me if you just can't find it, and the only way to open it is to bust down the door. Because we know you can bust down doors, we did that in the very beginning of the game. I can do it with an axe, I doubt I could do it with a shovel. I am curious if I could do it with these boards. I mean, I have tons of boards and tons of nails. I'm also, I'm wondering two things, if I use these boards with the nails enough, if I use just a bunch of them on a door, can I break it down? And also, can I burn down a door with gasoline? I'm actually going to test that on my own door. If I can't burn down my own door, then I can't burn down somebody else's, right? Alright. Oh. Oh. That must be where I died before. Yes, yeah, so your backpack just stays there forever and you can retrieve your stuff. There's my watch. Well. That's handy. Nice. I'm glad I didn't buy a watch then. Another watch. Would have been a waste. Well, I'll keep that on me. I'm going to take the bandages, because I know they heal for a long time, so they can actually be used kind of during combat for a combat heal. Wow, oh, I'm so happy about that. Okay, we'll simulate a locked door. not get too close. It doesn't appear to be doing anything. <laughs> I'm roast <laughs> roasting my hat over the fire now. Alright, so it looks like that didn't do anything. Nope. Alright, can't burn down even a wooden door, let alone a metal one. So, let's dump those back. I think the reason I keep accidentally transferring stuff out of my inventory here into the workbench is when you're in this window... When you're in this window... Actually, when you're in this window and you, like, control click or shift click on something in the quick bar, it actually doesn't do anything with it. But... I guess I just expected the behavior to be that if you shift or control click here in the hotbar, it would move it here, but it doesn't. It moves it to the workbench. So that's why I keep doing that, because it's doing something that I don't expect it to do. Just need to remember and get used to it. Anyway, is this everything I want to bring with me? No. Because we're going to try to bust down the wedding door with boards. So, repair that. If it does more damage, you know, if I upgrade it and it does more damage, I assume that would do more damage to a door as well. 
So... Oh, it's 15 nails to upgrade it, though. No, that's not worth it. That's only worth it for, I think, my main weapon. Because to actually make a new one only takes... 10 nails. Uh, ah, I'll upgrade it. Oh, I can make it hardened now. Weapon durability. Eh. Oh, I've got the better workshop now? I thought... I must have upgraded the workshop after checking this, because before I was only able to do one upgrade. Huh. Oh, can you... Wait a minute, can you upgrade it twice? With more nails? Ah, uh, no. Already had this upgrade. Okay. So I'll take that and I'll make another one. So two full boards, one of which is upgraded. If that doesn't bust open a door, then... For the sake of science, maybe I'll go with three. I want to make really sure that you can't bust down a door. With these. Because if you can, then it's definitely going to be worth it. Okay. I already turned the generator off. Am I ready to go to the wedding and the underground entrance? Got the lantern with me. Yep. If the monster is still in the underground entrance, I'm going to use a Molotov against it. Let's go straight right. And now I can see the time. Ha. Huh. That feels good. Hello, sleeper. Still sleeping. Those bugs are back. I should try burning these things at some point, the holes with gasoline. Say, did I leave something in here? No. Okay. Okay, so we're like right here. Let's just go down this way, go to the wedding. I see lots of patches of mushrooms like this. I wonder if there's a mushroom man. They made a very distinctive noise, though, so I don't think I could miss it. Looks like bodies do eventually decay. Oh wait, no. The dog's... Oh, the dog's just right there. Did it move? I'm pretty sure it wasn't there when I killed it. Anyway. Oh! Um... Hmm. That wasn't there before. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like an angry spirit or anything. I think it's the groom, right? Or the bride, I mean. Looks like that's the wedding dress. I don't hear the knocking anymore. Is that an actual person? I mean, it sounds like a... It looks kind of like a spirit, but maybe it's an actual person. Uh, uh. They have a health bar, but, I mean, that's not abnormal, right? I can't talk to them. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, they're still knocking. 
<clears throat> okay. Gotta turn my back to them. This is... Oh, it's a metal door. I seriously doubt this would work against a metal door. I don't- I don't think anything's happening. I mean, that's- is that the health of the door at the bottom of the screen? Oh. Oh, it actually shows the health of the door. So yeah, that does not work. Okay. Okay, bye! Uh, does anything work on a metal door? Even an axe? Like, I wonder if even an axe would... I'm curious why they're there now, but they weren't there before. Okay. Northeast. little wabbit. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. Right. Let's put that lantern on. And let's get the Molotov ready. We're going to assume that thing is still in here. Wait, what? I never searched this wardrobe. Okay. Please don't be there, please don't be there, please don't be there. where the thing is that I needed to dig. hasn't changed too much to the point where I can't dig up the thing. I think it was over here, wasn't it? I thought it was here. It could be a time-limited thing, like you have to do it the first time you visit it or something, or before the encounter. I don't know.
Oh, I just looked up at the time, by the way, in the top... In the top right. Um, yeah, it pauses when you go down here. And this is the door now, right? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Should I look through? Okay, that's enough for me. Nothing's changed. I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna go rewatch the video where I found it, see exactly where it was. Damn, yeah, I just watched back the video. I guess I missed my chance. So it used to be right here, right when you come down the very entrance, there was a passageway to the left here. This used to be a passageway that led to some rubble that you could dig up, and now it's just a tangle of vines. Damn. Well, was a, this was a bust. Didn't do anything with the wedding or down in the underground passage. Guess nothing to do but uh, run back home. I'll see you back at the house. Okay, we're back at the house. Uneventful journey, thankfully. In the dark woods, that's actually a very good thing. Alright, stump some stuff. Uh, yeah, time still ticks by even while I'm using the workbench, as I would expect. I need to cook that meat. I guess I'll dump the shovel. I'll keep it on me. What if I find something again? Cook the meat real fast. Oh, I'm so close. Just one more of anything, I'll be able to get another dose. It's 1300. So we definitely we definitely still have a decent amount of time to explore, so where are we going? Uh, looks like using the map does pause time. Good. I thought so, but nice to have it confirmed. Creepy silo. Let's try going up, up here. What was that noise? I hear thumping. Sounds distant though. Broken truck. Now it's not distant. Uh, I think it's a savage banging their head on a tree. That? Sounds like a mushroom man. Well, they're not banging their head on anything, but... It's not them, but there's a group of savages over there, I guess, and it looks like maybe a vehicle or a tank or something. Ooh, a tire. That's probably a... Is that a part that Pietra could be interested in? I think I already gave them a tire, I feel like. Will they want another one? And this also isn't a tractor. I'm just going to take out a Molotov. I don't see mushrooms. But it sounds awfully close. I'm just going to ignore it and go this way. Tank wreck. Yeah, it's a tank. Don't want to mess with the ones that have clubs. They seem pretty nasty. I'm 
know there's a... Is it, yep. Okay, this one I can take on, that's fine. Medium caliber magazine, small caliber magazine, ooh. Good stuff. Inventory's full now, though. Where is that other- oh, there they are. Oh, it's a bear trap there. Alright, it's 1600. You're in my yard. You're in my house! Yeah, get out of here. It's strange how some of them are scared and scared of you, and some of them aren't. The ones with weapons seem to be not scared of you clubs and rocks. The ones like that that are weaponless just run during the day, anyway. During the night, they don't. Okay, we got like an hour and a half before I should probably start fortifying the house, so let's dump some stuff. Oh, man. Not a lot of space. I'll dump that. I don't need like a million staffs. I should sell them. I'm just going to dump the staffs on the floor. I'll just sell them later. I have so much gas. Anything else to dump? I don't need a million boards with nails. I need to sell most of those, too. Wait, I think I accidentally dumped the good board? No, that's not the good board. Oh, this is, this is the one with more nails. So that one I want to keep. These I'll dump. Okay, that'll have to do for now. We got like an hour to explore? That's like nothing. I mean, it's not actually dark at 1800, it's dark at 2000, but. Oh, 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 almost touched that. Oh. Uh, but I want to make sure I have a couple of hours to do stuff, you know? Definitely a mushroom man out here. Alright, well, let's... Okay. Let's grab this pile of wood and then head home. Is that a corpse? No, poisonous mushroom. Oh, shiny stone. Whoop. One hit? Alright. Dare I go for the shiny stone? Nope. Ow. It's fine, I can't get re-poisoned, right? Generator on, let's go drink from the well. Thankfully, most of the stuff I already have some of, so it kind of just stacks. Except the wood, I'm going to drop that too. I'll deal with that tomorrow. Okay, here's what I'm thinking regarding the bear traps. So I was using... At the, at the first hideout, I used the chain trap, and that seemed to work pretty well. And then at the second hideout, I used chain traps, and they didn't work at all. Like, nothing got caught on them. So then I thought maybe these harder enemies needed the bear trap, so I started using bear traps. Um, and those also didn't seem to catch them. Not to mention, you lose some scrap when you recover them, unlike the chain traps, where you get back as much as you put into it. So, given that, 
I don't think I'm gonna bother with the bear traps. I think I'm gonna bother... I'm gonna try the chain traps again, but this time I'm gonna place them more at the part of the door that I think they tend to come in at, rather than the center of the door, more at the side opposite the hinge, and we'll see if that works. Because bear traps definitely didn't work any better at all. And I might as well just make one for every single possible opening. Since I, again, you recover everything you put into it, so you're not wasting anything. Yeah, so normally I put it, like, here, but I'm going to try putting it, like, here. Which way does this open? Okay, so let's put it, like, here. Hopefully that works better. I'm hoping it's just the doors that are kind of particular about that. The windows, I imagine, they would come in at the center. So let me finish fortifying everything. Okay, and we're fortified. Instead of doing the windows for this place over here, because I think it's got three of them, I just put two traps right here in the doorway. Traps on every doorway, every possible entrance. Oh, I guess except this window. Eh, whatever. I think they tend to go through the doors before the windows, because the doors aren't barricaded. A little bit easier to do that. Don't need my shovel on me. I should probably repair that, or I could just use the other one I have here. I'll do that for now. Okay. And we're ready, and it's officially nighttime. Here we go. Still didn't trigger. What is happening? What the hell? Poltergeists. Yeah, how did this not trigger? How? How in the hell? through a barricade. Here they are. Come on. You have to hit these traps, right? You have to. Oh my god, did a, a bug just hit a trap? You little shit. There we go, finally. Okay. Ill planned. Oh no, I can't stop dying. Oh, man. It triggered both traps. God. This game's hard. The hell was that? Someone just 
pound on my door? I guess this wardrobe got smashed, huh? Okay, so chain traps can be triggered by bugs, which sucks. Although it's kind of hilarious. Um, one enemy can trigger multiple chain traps, and putting it right here doesn't work because you don't really have enough room to stay at a range of their swings. Maybe I should just like always Molotov them. I mean, it feels like overkill, but at this point, I don't know what else to do. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to begin... Was this day 13 or day 12? I don't remember. 